It's because others are moving faster and having success. Do you really know that? Like, what's your definition of success? If your only metric is the price and the price is being manipulated, well, then what you're basically saying is the only way to achieve success is to be a criminal and to be dishonest, in which case the entire industry has no legitimacy. If your definition of success is adoption, then you have to ask yourself, well, adoption of what? If it's only vacuous applications where people trade amongst themselves and they're all yield seeking and TVL is the only metric of success, regardless of the meaning or purpose, and it's very fair weather and people leave in six months, you want that? And that's your definition of success? So you really have to be careful with those words, success and faster. And also you have to look at the speed at which Cardano is moving. And it's pretty impressive that we have been able to change consensus protocols and adopt smart contracts within 18 months. Ethereum has been trying just to do one, change its consensus protocol for the last seven years. And it has not succeeded yet. Seven years, 18 months, we did both. And we have a clear line of sight for how we match these DAG protocols, which are extremely high performance, but have security problems. We have high performance, no security problem. And we also know have a clear line of sight to how we're going to iterate, refine, and improve the programming model, and then also adopt the programming models of our competitors all within the next 12 months. That's slow. While our competitors spend seven years just trying to do one of the two major things that we've done in the last 18 months and haven't yet accomplished that. You see, so you have to be careful with these words because when you actually start analyzing, you realize that maybe they're not true and you're paying attention to propaganda, to YouTube podcasters, to pumpers, to trolls, to people who are paid to have an opinion about why something is so bad. 